What's up, ladies and gentlemen? We are back more. And I'm going to turn off my green screen and I'm going to get it out of here. But the reason why is because I kind of want to just have a little bit of a heart to heart with you guys uh, in relation to Trove on the channel, why it's been lacking lately, and kind of what my plans are moving forward. Now, I did end up talking about some of these details when we moved into 2024, talking about my plans and so on and so forth, but things change. And you might have noticed that I have put out a few tutorials and stuff with Trove lately, uh, you know, within this year. And those videos I'm very proud of, you know, the one that talked about how dragon coins are a bigger issue than the devs think, and kind of, you know, having more videos focusing on the wider picture rather than just the usual tutorials coming out over and over again. Now, that said, those tutorials do still have a place and I'm definitely planning on redoing and updating for 2024 a lot of my older tutorials. You know, we already had the flux farming video for this year and, uh, you know, I do plan on doing like updated class guides and junk like that. But those are going to end up being a while because the new Trove update looks like it's going to very, very positively affect our power, which... I, I don't mean to sound like that's hype or not. Uh, I'm kind of indifferent towards it because I'm very curious to see where they go with it. But suffice to say, I'm pretty confident we're going to be able to get up to 50 KPR. There's a couple reasons for that. One of them being that somebody on PlayStation noticed the uh, one of the devs was actually rocking the 50 KPR sigil, which we did already see the 50 KPR sigil within the game's code. like. A year or two ago so we know it's just an uh, it's an inevitability at this point now i'm really hoping that the new update isn't just related to crystal gear like i really hope it's not just crystal 5 gear because that would be super duper lame um but we did notice that the crafting table did have a pearl of wisdom on top of it that was green and essentially it, it might end up being some sort of new stats being added to the game. Who knows? This isn't a video to theorize what could happen with the new update that could arrive any day now. Anyways, uh, this is most of all because I wanted to talk with you all about uh, kind of just the future of the channel and just kind of what's going on with Trove. It's not like some super big over complex thing. It's just something I wanted to touch base with you guys on and just let you know, like, is this something you'd be interested in kind of thing, you know? So first and foremost, why have the videos kind of subsided a bit? Uh, that's got to do with my trip. You know, when I ended up doing my trip to Cuba and then came back, I hit the ground running in terms of delivering content to you guys. Uh, but Trove was not at the top of that list just because I've played this game for such an absurd amount of time. I'm trying not to burn out. And the easiest, funnest content for me is live streams. That is just so fun to me. And I really enjoy doing live streams, especially with Trove, because it means that I can very easily, you know, just banter with you guys rather than have to have specific talking points when I'm playing and recording a more refined video like this. You know, that's why it has to either be a tutorial or it has to be something like this where I'm kind of just sharing my thoughts because otherwise I don't know what to say because I don't have anything to comment on about the game itself. As you can see, you know, people are always like, oh, is this like pre-recorded or are you using pre-recorded background footage and stuff like that? No, it's just because I've been playing this game for so freaking long. This is muscle memory at this point where all I have to do is glance at the screen to know what I'm doing and then we can just move on to the next dungeon and whatever else. Anyways, so my big plan is obviously I'm still going to end up doing updated 2024 tutorials, but they are kind of on the back burner at the moment just because I haven't been feeling it as much. Uh, I don't know. I'm kind of waiting to get re-inspired to actually do that because grinding out those types of videos that I've already done years and years and years, like I'm basically repeating myself at this point with almost anything related to Trove. And unfortunately, that comes with a cost because it means that I have to be very careful with my own mental health in the situation because otherwise I'll end up getting bored of the game or I just will get bored of, even worse, I could get bored of doing YouTube because the editing side of things has never been my favorite. It's not like I dislike it, but there are days where I want to grind and nonstop edit. And then there's other days where I just want to play the gosh darn game. 
you know, and that's where the live streaming usually ends up coming in and usually ends up winning. But I know that there is a huge trade off with that. Real talk, YouTube doesn't push live streams at all. And on top of that, it uh, segments live streams into its own category, which more often than not doesn't get pushed. Like even when I'm looking at YouTube on my phone and stuff, uh, I don't know the last time that I ended up getting recommended or shown a live stream from the channels that I'm actually like subscribed to. Like, I don't know why they even include YouTube live streams if they're not going to end up pushing it at the same regard as just normal videos and recommended and stuff. But either way, that's a, that's a much larger issue that has nothing really to do with the Trove stuff. My main point is that when I'm doing those live streams, there's a lot of, uh, I would call it interesting topics that we usually end up uh, discussing and sharing. It's kind of like a podcast in a way at this point. And usually we're kind of talking about like new games coming out or whatever, or theorizing stuff that's gonna be happening with Trove or talking about things that could improve Trove. Like in the last stream, I ended up talking about a battle pass and how it would fit in Trove. And we could save that for another video. But my point being, is it is something that could go into its own video, right? So what I'm thinking is, why don't I start recording myself do the live streams so that I can splice together some highlights for you guys afterwards that you won't have to watch through an hour plus live stream to actually hear about, you know? I, I, I know that in a way, like, I guess the reason I wanna be transparent with you guys about this is because in a way, it's kind of double dipping because it's content that I'm already, you know, I already have publicly available to you guys in the first place with the live stream. But in my eyes, this would be different than me just uploading the same video twice because essentially I get to upload a much shorter, more laser focused video touching upon specific talking points and topics that I think could end up being quite interesting, not only just for the Trove community, but also, we could also have some spin-off side videos of, you know, maybe me talking about my opinion towards this new game that came out or talking about games that I'm hyped about. You know, like all of these and more are things that I regularly talk about passively on the live stream that I think would be kind of cool to have that cut down to shorter videos. Uh, again, I know that it can be double dipping and it's a little bit weird and it's kind of an experimental thing. Uh, but I just wanted to let you guys know uh, that this is something that I plan on doing and kind of wanted your thoughts on it. Like, I don't necessarily need to make highlights of absolutely everything. It would just be like things that I think are interesting topics. And by no means am I saying that this would remove the live stream VOD in its entirety by any means. You could still always end up watching through that yourself, uh, you know, even even in terms of my member content, there are barely any videos that I have member specific, like member locked. Uh, the only videos that I have member locked are usually streams that aren't really the ones that I want to leave public where I was like just kind of chilling and doing background stuff or editing videos or whatever. And I don't really feel comfortable having those like to the absolute masses public uh, versus there's also just certain videos that I would have scrapped otherwise that I'm like, okay, I'll just put it up for the members because otherwise I would just delete it off my hard drive. You know, those are the only videos. Otherwise I don't really believe in like segmenting off content from you guys. And you could say, well, isn't that holding off content? Well, technically, yeah. But in my eyes, it's like, dude, that's content that would otherwise just be deleted anyways. So it's kind of like, all right, whatever. But again, I'm not trying to push that. I'm not trying to get into all of that stuff. I just wanted to you know, let you know this was the plan. So I'm gonna start uh, probably immediately doing the live stream recordings. Uh, the one thing that I want you guys to be patient with me and keep in mind is it's not something that I'm used to doing. So it means that I will, it, it's almost like a new skill set that I'm gonna be developing. Obviously I have editing skills and I have commentating skills and all of that stuff. Uh, but when it comes to trying to remember specific points in like these super long live streams, usually I just don't bother. And I mean, obviously I can timestamp them for myself to make it easier and junk like that. But the long story short of it is that 
just because I end up doing a live stream that talks about a battle pass doesn't necessarily mean that that is going to end up being a video that will arrive on the channel right away, you know, because I'm thinking more long term where it's just going to be like, oh, OK, there, I said a couple different interesting things that I want to, uh, you know, flesh out in its own video in its entirety and stuff like that. And some of it might just end up getting scrapped. Let's be real. Uh, but like, for example, some of the bigger channels that I've been watching lately will usually end up having uh, you can totally tell that they almost sit down and do like a really long recording session that they then end up separating into multiple videos that covers like a solid week or so. And the only times that I usually end up doing stuff like that, like I, I don't like getting my videos too ahead because it means that comments become irrelevant. Um, so I, that's again, one of the big reasons why I like live streams is because I get to interact with you guys directly and get tips directly instead of like, I still remember when I was doing like my Terraria playthrough and I was getting all these amazing tips from you guys in the comments, but little did you know, I'd recorded five episodes in, so I couldn't respond to that or adjust to the tips before that point because I recorded a bunch of videos, you know, in a row. And the only other times that I do that now is when I'm going on a trip. I stockpile a crap ton of videos and it is kind of unfortunate because it does kind of feel like it's a little bit distant from you guys in a way. But anyways, now I'm just kind of rambling and going in circles. What do you guys think about all that? Is it a cool idea? I don't know how 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 averted to it would you be? Uh, you can let me know. I'm still going to try it. I'm still going to do it because I'm, I, I don't know, just because I'm crazy like that. And at the end of the day, like I said, you'll still have access to just the normal uh, live stream VODs. It's just this way. Hopefully everyone that doesn't have over an hour to spend watching a live stream can kind of see where we're at as a community in terms of what we're talking about, you know. But anyways, smash like, sub for more, buy the merch you want to support the channel. Have a wonderful day.